Chapter 8 here, The Gap Closer, continuing the Tips in 2 series on a listening. Today we're going to talk about closed-ended questions and what you need to do or why you should ask them rather. First of all, closed-ended questions allow you to get specific facts. So let's use an example of a parenting technique. You ask your child, did you leave your toys out? They can only say yes or no. Now they may add some information to that, but they're gonna either say yes I did or no I didn't. The second reason why you wanna ask closed-ended questions is because it allows you to direct the conversation to specific areas. So if you wanna talk about that mess in the playroom, you can ask a closed-ended question to get there. The third reason why it's a good idea to ask closed-ended questions sometimes is because it allows you to gain commitment from the listener. So Heather, can we agree that you're gonna take your toys and put them up right now? Yes, mommy, or no, but it allows you to gain commitment from the listener. And finally, number four, asking a closed-ended question allows you to reinforce positive statements. Now, Heather, you know I love you, right? Yes, mommy. So you're going to clean up this mess and take it in your room, right? Yes, mommy. So that's how it goes. Now, just because I use the toy situation as an example doesn't mean you cannot use this technique in the workplace. Remember, closed-ended questions will get you what you want quickly. So this is Dr. A, tips under two, reminding you that we all have gaps and we all need to close them. To stay in touch with me, feel free, click that link right down there and I'll be happy to engage with you. You have a great day.